Peter, looking ahead to Tuesday's match against Wraith Rovers, how does the, the next couple of days pan out for yourself and the players leading up to the match? Well, we're assessing the boys in there just now, and then we're in, obviously, tomorrow morning, first thing, um, and we'll assess the guys there. As you say, people like Ian and I are just back after a long time out. You know, we've obviously got Graham Dorans and Reese Cole, you know, doing extras as well, and they're getting very much closer as well. And I'm hoping I've not picked up any. There's a couple of boys with knocks, um, but we're hoping they're going to be okay. But because it's a quick turnaround, you never know. I've been in the game myself a long time, so I know sometimes you wake up on a Sunday and you feel worse on a Sunday than you did after the game because you pick up a knock you didn't even realise you had. So we'll assess them tomorrow morning, we'll do some training tomorrow morning, then obviously Monday, and then we fly into another derby match, which is always fantastic to come in. It'd be fantastic if we could, that could be our first victory. That'd be brilliant. In terms of the Wraith Rovers match, we, we only played them a few weeks ago, so we know exactly what to expect of them. They'll know exactly what to expect of us. And uh, it was a real competitive match once again um, at Starch Park, so we, we know that that's what to expect at East End Park on Tuesday night. Yeah, John and Paul, as I said, have done an excellent job, you know, and as I say, over the years, never mind now. And as obviously they played exceptional football, they played really, really well. But they know we're a good side as well. I know a lot of people look at it and think, well, the, the results have deserved more than, uh, sorry, we've deserved results better than the performances we've had. So I understand, you know, when we're going to these games and you're playing against good sides, we all know each other in this division. We're playing against each other four times a season. We know the managers. Everybody knows it. So nothing surprises them. What you've got to do is go and perform once you get across the white line. As I say, I've never lost a game in the black world. I keep saying that to you. When you get across the white line, that's when we've got to perform and concentrate. And if we do all these things well and have the work ethic and the commitment we've had, you know, as I say, for a few weeks now, we're hoping that, that when everybody comes back fit, everybody can push each other and we can get that result to send the supporters home. Because I know what it's like to win a derby match. I understand the euphoria you get with your supporters. And that's what they're so desperate for. And it'd be fantastic if we could start with that come Tuesday evening. As you touched on there, it's uh, a chance to go and get a vital three points and and uh, continue the momentum that we've built over the last couple of games and a perfect way to to uh, go into a busy schedule by, by beating your local rivals. Absolutely. I think it's always important. It's the next game now, and that's what I said prior. You can only take one a game at a time. I've always done that throughout my career. I think it's so important. The boys have been focused like that. But now our full focus is on Wraith Rovers. That's our job now, to go and beat Wraith Rovers. That's where our job is. That's what we'd love to do. And it, as I say, it'd be fantastic to do it. We start winning a derby match. That'd be our first win uh, in, in the league, obviously. But as you say, continue momentum. And I, and I think we've been very, very close. But it, we cannot step off the gas in any shape or form because we know it's going to be a very, very tough game against a talented side. But I know I've got talented players as well. I've got a talented group of players. So the hardest part of me, hopefully, is going to be that I have not these injuries are going to be available. But it's picking the team, and that's always the manager's best thing. If he's, it's the hardest part, picking the team, you're always in good fettle. So hopefully we can prove that come Tuesday evening and get the victory everybody's desperate for.